What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Death Road to Canada with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony, and this is Death Road to Canada. We're continuing our game here uh, with our crazy cat lady. It's going pretty well. Some of my cats are lactose intolerant. That's... Uh, most cat... Actually, okay. Wait. We got a berserk martial artist that we will recruit to the team. Okay. Um, a lot of people used to give cats milk out of their fridge. Like cow's milk? And that's really unhealthy for cats. The car gets stuck in the ditch near a crappy dirt road. The group is close to getting the car out when a roaming horde draws near. Now they must distract the zombies from getting too close. Siege alert, there's no escape. It's an overwhelming horde uh, in the late afternoon and it's only 0.7 hours long. So we should be able to survive this pretty easily. I'm gonna give Will a weapon here. I don't know how much use he'll get out of it, but Hoping it's good for him. And of course, gonna be nail boarding it up here. Uh, and a good idea might be to switch, make sure everybody's actually on board with the fighting and the smashing. All right, so far so good. We're boxed in up here, so I gotta go down this way. Actually, we got like a car wall here uh, protecting us from these zombies which might be a good idea just to stay on this side of it. I, I think this is very good. Hopefully Will doesn't take any damage. Oh, they broke through the car wall. Come on. That was the greatest plan and it, it did not succeed. Okay, the siege is over. There's loot here. So I think we want to try to get the loot. We can kill these zombies for sure. Uh. We'll stay up around the edges just in case and make sure everyone's bunching together. Just in case. Are we cornered? Let's get out of here. All right. I... Oh, cat lady. No, we got to stay and find... Cat lady, not cool cat lady. What are you doing? You're right there. Yes, let's hit the road. Oh, okay. Okay. She's here. It's cool. No problem. I would have liked to get some gas out of those cars. But oh well. Uh, it was my fault for backing us into that corner in a in a pretty bad way. Glimmer of hope on the death road. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they are getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. We can give Margaret a full heal. Is Margaret not at full health? Margaret is at full health. Shooting? No. Strength? Probably not. How's our morale? Pretty low. All things considered, let's go with morale and random skill gain. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Margaret's morale increases. Okay, everybody's morale increases. Margaret gets mechanical. Dog and Pony gets mechanical as well. Cat Lady gets strength. And Will gets mechanical. Everybody got mechanical except Cat Lady. Weird. We don't know what her mechanical is. Actually, we don't know anybody's mechanical. We don't know her strength, but she did train it. All right. Keep it moving. Driving range, last stand. We don't have anybody with great mechanical because we don't have the ability to rig a machine to blast them with z g with golf balls. But um, I don't know what I was just saying. Prepare for a siege. It's the only safe way through this. Siege alert. There's no escape. It's overwhelming, but it's and it's late night, which is bad, and it's one hour long. This one's always late night because it is late at night. That's why we're here to begin with. Ooh, his meat cleaver didn't break. I wonder if he even used it. We're probably better off without the weapon, which is why I didn't put it into our wield spot. All right, just start killing. The cats are really helpful. Always having a fifth party member, like you do when you're in a rescue mission, is just incredible. You can't control them, which is, you know, just like in a rescue mission, but it's still pretty uh, nice just to have the extra claws on your side there. No zombies over this way. Oh, now there is. We gotta make sure we just have a clear path. These shelves are helpful, of course. I really wish we could've gotten some gasoline at that uh, on the road siege there. It probably wouldn't have been much. It probably would have been able to get maybe 20 or so out of it. It would have been something, but it's not like a huge loss. We're gonna abandon our car probably pretty soon, but 
I think we'll be okay. Guys, fight through this. This way. The siege is over. We can try to escape. Which, to, to me, now, still means... Uh, we don't try to escape. We try to kill all the zombies. But, maybe not. Is there actually any loot here worthwhile? There's a door over here. Oh, a toilet. That was a bad idea. Why'd I do that? Okay, here we go. We're fine. Kill that zombie. Let's go. Out the door, guys. Is there anything in here we want? Just golf clubs and we've got plenty. So yes, let's go. All right, we got one gas and killed 95 zombies. Pretty awesome. The worst of the zombie siege is over. The group clears out any remaining zombies outside, then goes back in to splat any stragglers so they can set up camp. Morale's going up across the board, except for the person who already had full morale. And we eat eight food. Morale's looking great. The only person without uh, super high morale is Will, who uh, just joined the group and still has pretty high morale. Five bandits ambush the group while they are about to sneak into a zombie-infested house. The bandits speak in a half-whisper, afraid to attract undead attention. They say to hand them over some supplies or they'll yell, but Margaret already has a plan. Margaret calls the bandits on their bluff immediately. Before the bandits can yell, Margaret is already making tons of noise as the bandits panic and the zombies rush in. The group saunters away with a, uh, by a side route. It pays to constantly plan for the worst. Will's morale increases. Okay, everybody's feeling really nice. We got enough food for another day. We got enough gas to run out really quickly. Uh, we don't have room to recruit anybody. We need to keep our paranoid character. And there's just, there's no reason to give up these characters. They've both trained stats. So we don't want to replace them with someone who hasn't. So we're going to leave I'm Bad Karma behind. We just revealed a ton of stats about him. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Ooh, always be looting. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Now this is gonna be dangerous, but I think it's a good idea since we have a ton of medical supplies already that can't even be used by two of our characters. We are going to go to the untouched grocery store. It's a death swarm, but they're sluggish. So let's take a big risk and let's kill some G darn zombies with our pretty powerful group. Okay, this is the, the, the hardest part, getting out of the car safe. Now we wanna get down to uh, a safe spot. So maybe this corner back here, and then uh, just fight our way out of it. We want them to bunch up, and uh, we're gonna use our car as a shield here to get past the bunch. Moving here. Killing those guys. So far, so good. If we had something to lift and throw, that would be nice, but the shopping carts aren't in a very convenient location for us, so we'll ignore that aspect of it. We'll, we'll keep trying, but not expect it. Okay. Um, no, we need to go up here. That's the, the only safe route. It's not super safe, but it's something. Okay, so far, doing well. I'm talking myself through it. <laughs> and it's working out. Okay, we got a shopping cart we can throw. Uh, no, I don't want to risk it. Not with Dog and Pony having only one health. Okay, we can't go inside yet, obviously. So, keep killing the, uh, the ones outside of the main crowd. And then, go back and start taking care of the edges of the main crowd. It's, it's actually going really well. Just gotta make sure we don't mess it up. Okay, I think we're in a pretty safe place. Not location, but a safe... Uh, we, we've, we've handled this well enough that as long as we don't let the, the horde separate, we'll be fine. We also don't want them to get too close to the car, because I do believe they can damage the car. I'm pretty sure they can damage the car. Let's uh, move down into the corner a little bit more before we take that path up. We don't want them fanning out. This is actually a, a really easy to handle crowd. It's a it's an army of death or a undead flood or whatever it is, but they're not too bad. 
There's probably more inside that we're going to have to deal with, of course. We're going to probably lure those ones out as well. But we're going to get a lot of food out of this. Um, untouched grocery store, you can easily get 50 plus food out of. So that's going to be awesome. If we had TLB, this would be a piece of cake. The beginning part would be harder because he wouldn't be fighting. But as soon as we got to where we could pick up a car, uh, we'd be blasting right through these zombies. We'll get out of there. We did kind of fan this group out, which is a bad, bad thing, but I think it's small enough that we can handle it at this point. I kind of want to bunch them up toward the uh, top right corner now and then escape toward the doors and then go all the way to the left and down if we have to. But I think the group is small enough that we'll be able to take them out without actually doing that plan. All right. Keep killing. We'll get out of there. Don't fight too hard. I know you're fighting, but don't fight too hard. Actually, we could just go down at this point. There aren't very many zombies left. Only like maybe 10. There's probably a couple off screen. Oh, come on. Okay. We're bunching a little close to the edge, which is making the rest of the group not back up when they have to. There we go. Is that everything? That's all the zombies out here. Are you guys ready to, to go back to the car? Just kidding. I didn't forget that there's food. Okay, what's it like inside? Pretty bad. Hopefully that got a couple of them to start coming out. All right, just, just, okay. Two, two there, one went back in. Here we go. There's not that many inside, but because they are sluggish, that's gonna make it a lot harder to lure them out, which means we're probably gonna have to do some of our combat inside instead. Which I don't like doing right at the entrance. But once we get them around the shelves and stuff, we should be okay. I'm going to pick up a card over here to toss. I'm just going to get out of this area. Go back in. Oh, okay. They're coming out. We're going to be good. This is going well. It's getting late. It's already 4.05 p.m., but we can deal with that. Like, because there's going to be a lot fewer zombies, it's not going to matter that they're faster. And if anything, them being faster is going to make them easier to handle because they'll come outside where we can just pick them off one by one or two by two. At most, four by four because that's how many doors there are. Oh, there they are. They were all bunched up against that door that I just went into. That was lucky. Okay, guys, back outside. This is going really well. Compared to, like, how it could have been handled, I'm pretty happy with it. We kept everyone safe. The cat was a big help, of course, but I think our strategy was more helpful than the cat. Oh, oh, I missed. Okay, at least I have, like, basically infinite stamina for, the, for this kung fu. Let's use this golf club. Just cuz. No, it's not very good. I'm gonna switch back to kung fu. I thought it would be a little better than that. All right, I think it's time to start looting. There's some ammo as well. We don't really have anybody using guns, but that's that can change in the future. We don't know. Make sure we're not letting ourselves get surrounded. Oh, come on. Somebody broke my golf cart. Or not my golf cart, my shopping cart, right as I threw it. Not cool, guys. Okay, down because we were about to get surrounded in that aisle. Let's go back to the entrance so we have an out, but we're not going to leave yet. We're not going to leave the building, because I think we can still handle this. We've taken care of a good, what, 50, 60% of the zombies in the entire place at this point, I would have to guess, if not more. Most of them were outside, and we've taken care of a lot of the inside ones as well. I'm looking forward to seeing what the number is on how many zombies we killed when we leave. Because it's going to be pretty darn high. I'm going to keep looting. They can keep killing. It's fine. Getting a lot of food. I've got 14 just on dog and pony. And uh, who knows how much else has been picked up by everybody else. If you've been watching very closely, you may know. Or if when I said that, you went back to the video and counted. Or if you skipped ahead to the end, just so you could know, which would have been a 
kind of strange thing to do, but I, I, whatever, to each their own. All right, 21 food. What are you thinking total? Uh, put your guesses in the comment, no cheating. Comments, no cheating. How many do you think we're gonna get? I'm thinking 58 food total. It's probably a little bit of a high guess, but I'm feeling optimistic. And then right after this, we're gonna go to a trader camp and there's gonna be something awesome at it. I don't know what, but it's gonna be great and we're gonna do a good job. We're gonna win this run. Our first attempt at familiar characters extreme mode. And I don't feel like the cat lady cheapens it at all. Okay, big crowd. Let's get them lured out of there. They're not quite nighttime fast yet. It is almost 8 p.m. and it's dark, but they're still uh, obviously not sluggish, but I wouldn't say they're at the, at the hunting level yet. I'd say they're irritated, probably. Whoa, okay. And you, knocked over there. Okay, just kill him. What are, you, what are you guys doing? Okay, that was good. There's only a handful of zombies in this room and multiple toilets that we're gonna open and get our toilet genie charging. Alrighty. I feel like if you start a, uh, actually, okay, so yeah, so for long winding road mode, let alone marathon mode, which I'm not entirely sure how long marathon mode is, but for long winding road mode, I feel like if you start a run with relatively close to a toilet charge, um, you could probably get two in the same run. With marathon mode, maybe even more. That'd be really cool. Multiple toilet genies in the same run. Okay. There we go. Bathroom's almost clear. We don't necessarily need to clear the whole thing. It, there's not going to be that many more zombies in the rest of the building, so it won't be too bad. But without, since they can't spawn indoors, uh, it's nice to only have to worry about them coming from the main entrance of the building. Oh, I missed. Did they even see us? They did. They're coming for us. It's good. The good thing. This is taking a while, but I think it's worth it. I think we're going to get more loot. I think there's going to be some food back in one of these uh, rooms here. I, th I think this is definitely worth it to check out. Oh, just one more in here? Oh, no, there's another one, but he's not moving at all. Okay, see? More food, way more food, at least five more. I wish you could pick up these crates and smash them to get, like, more loot. Like a little bit of food, maybe some ammo, things like that. That'd be cool. If you had a strong enough character or if you wanted to waste enough uh, swings at it, it, sh it should be possible. Ooh, no zombies, but more food. Oh, I can't pick up any of it. I was like, why am I not picking up the food? Am I not hitting it? No, I always forget that you can't pick stuff up while you're carrying something. Okay. Because in real life, I just... Typically, if I'm holding something, I'll grab onto other things with my feet and toss them up onto the pile of whatever I'm holding. What what are we at food-wise now? I, I didn't even see what Dog and Pony has, and I know other people have like another five or six at least. Ooh, cupboards and a fridge. This is gonna be awesome. Nobody's even gotten hurt yet. We're doing a great job at crowd control here. Probably the best crowd control we've ever done. Oh, they broke your, they broke my box. It had ammo in it. Oh, I don't need that. That's fine. Two food, two food. Awesome, I think we're done here. I'm gonna skirt around the outside again, just to make sure. Okay, ready? Up along this wall, we went in there. We went in there. Uh, nothing here. All right. And we went in there, so we're done. Back out to the parking lot where there's probably some more zombies that have piled up. We'll find out. Really? None? I don't see any zombies on the edge of the screen here. Crazy. 
Well, I'm gonna throw that chair, get out of here, and get back on the road if our car lets us. And it did. It's cool. We're out of here. Trader camp right away, please. 63 food. That's even more than I thought. We're up to a total of 74, which is incredible. I don't think it's the most we've ever had, but it's close. All right. Come on, trader camp. Before we run out of gas, I'd like a trader camp. My cats don't bite, those are just kisses. Mini golf, the group sets up camp at the safest place they could find around. An abandoned mini golf park, the group eats a decent meal. In the morning, they find a golf ball and putter. While searching the area, the group decides to play a quick game. Margaret gets some much needed exercise. Mini golf made her fitness increase. A dog and pony gets tired of the game and then loses the ball on purpose. Everybody's morale goes down. Way to go, dog and pony. What a jerk. All right. Cat lady's morale decrease. Oh, yeah, duh. That just said. Okay. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. I don't think we need to go to a deadly Yalmart. I don't think we need to go to a police headquarters either. Uh, maybe we just keep driving past. We're going to run out of gas. This is not going to be good. But having guns doesn't necessarily help us when we're on foot at all. We don't have any guns, though. They're both red. And they're both indoors, which makes it more dangerous. There's not going to be any gas at either, is there? Deadly Yalmart might have some gas. But the car is going to break down either way. Ugh. Okay. Keep driving past. And why are these zombies running fast like in the movies? Depends on the movies you're watching. Well, out of gas. There we go. Car abandoned. Not the worst thing to happen. We could pull through this toe stub. Cat lady's morale decreases and she's hurt. That's okay. We can heal up. We have the we have the supplies. Abandoned luck. This is great. The group is fortunate to find an abandoned cabin in the woods to stay the night in. Shortly after setting up, a storm moved in. Lucky for them, they found the cabin in time. Morale's going back up. That's great. We, that's uh what we lost at the... What's it called? Mini golf place. Cat lady rolls up her sleeves and starts tending to their wounds. We lost two medical. Uh, her medical is revealed as terrible, but it increased, and she's fully healed. So now we have someone with frowny medical. That's good. Rough road to safety. Here we go. The group is hiking down a gravel road when they are when, when they see a group of wrecked cars ahead. Chances are there's gasoline in some cars, and one may still work. We got a sardine-packed, irritated swarm late night. We're going to investigate the cars. This is a good thing that we found a car this fast. And that nothing bad happened except for Cat Lady getting hurt. <clears throat> Once. And then healing. So, kill the zombies around us. That's, you know, where you, you typically start one of these. The cat uh, that got spawned was pretty far away from us, so it actually started killing zombies way ahead of where we were. I want to backtrack a little bit. I want to be able to get as much uh, gas out of the cars as possible. So... We need to make sure we're not getting surrounded in order to do that. This is fine. Killing these zombies is cake. Um, there's hardly any of them. We're basically surrounding the group. So, we're good. Let's move back. Come on, guys. Back over here. Keep killing. Yeah. The zombies don't spawn very fast here either. They do come in off the edge of the screen like that one. But, it's... It's a lot slower than we kill them. Even if it was just like Will and I, Will and Dog and Pony, with the two martial artists here, we'd still be able to kill them faster than they were spawning. And we have the help of a cat. We have the help of two other characters that aren't great at combat, but you know, we're we're cutting through them quickly enough that this is worthwhile, so that we can get the maximum amount of gasoline possible. And the more. Uh, zombies we kill here, the less we have to deal with because they're coming at us from the end where the car is. So we're not going to have to worry about get dangers of getting into the car. If somebody uh, just refuses to actually get into the vehicle, we can remember to take control of them and put them into it. I'm still a little bitter about that. Dolores? Was it Dolores? I don't remember. Okay. With those two zombies... Uh, the only ones left over there. It's time to start looting. That wasn't gasoline, which is pretty gasoline. 
Uh, I'm not ashamed of what I just said. There's definitely 22 gas in this car that I'm about to leave here. What, what kind of car do you think you get? I'm hoping electric hybrid. That'll boost my morale. Five shotgun shells is kind of like 22 gasoline. Five more shotgun shells is nothing like 22 gasoline. Here, finally, gas. The, the symbol does show up when you get closer, if it has gas. I think that, you know, probably to let you know that you're not just going to pick up loot, you're going to be spending time here, so make sure you, you you got a clear area around you. A lot more zombies than I thought, actually. How long is this road to walk? Not sure. Hopefully not too long. I'd like to get out of this uh, encounter and onto the road. I'd love to start up our next episode at a trader camp, if we can, which we have no control over, but, you know, game, if you're listening to me, please trader camp, I'd love to buy something. Crazy Cat Lady hasn't stolen any food, or at least not that I've seen. That's supposed to be her big downside, is she steals food to give to her cats. So the group runs out of food faster. It, it might just be uh, more inconspicuous than I realized. I figured it would like tell me that food was being used up, but maybe it's just using more than eight food every night, And I, but it says minus eight and I'm not noticing. The zombies are actually spawning pretty fast at this point. So I think we gotta start trying to push forward instead of backtracking. Hey, they're coming in fast. I don't know how many of these zombies that we're killing now weren't here when we started because we've been moving backwards so much. I wonder how many zombies we've caused to spawn without realizing it. Okay, down to this car. A little bit more gas, that's nice. Here's a canister and another one right above it. We need to backtrack at this point. There are too many zombies up ahead. You know what? It's probably because we're in an extreme mode with 160% the normal amount of zombies. It's, it, this isn't because we're uh, dilly-dallying, it's because it's a harder game mode. Okay, time to move forward again, push through this crowd. I don't want to, my, my first thought here was, this is probably the last of them. We can get these ones behind us and then just run right to the car. I don't want to risk that. There's a good chance that that's not the last of the zombies. Come on. Come on. Kill him. Kill him, guys. We can do it. It's a little dangerous, uh, especially for Dog and Pony and Will, but since everybody else runs out of stamina pretty quickly, I just feel the need to get right in there and uh, karate chop away at them. Okay. There's a little bit of a group behind us. We can avoid it. We can avoid that crowd if we have to by going up and around them. Okay. Now, most of them are behind us. We got one more gas canister. We got a car. Come on. No. Or, please tell me we're not surrounded. Please tell me I didn't mess this up that badly. Here's the car. I'm going to get in. Other people are in. Margaret's not. We can't take control over. I think we just gotta get out of here. It's not working. My, my keyboard stopped working. Okay, did we leave Margaret behind or not? 82 gas is fine. Ammunition, everybody's in the car. The chassis is broken already. We're gonna abandon this car pretty much immediately. It might blow up and it's gonna hurt us, which is a really bad thing because we've got two, uh, you know, guys right here that will suffer from that. Uh, on that dreadful uh, note, I gotta say that that is all for now, but thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, please click that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more in the future, and I will see you in the next episode.